In this reaction, we have calcium nitrate plus phosphoric acid. This is a double displacement reaction. The calcium and the hydrogen, they're changing places. So to balance it, we'll use a bit of a trick we can use with these double displacement reactions. It'll make it a lot easier. So here's how we do it. Calcium, we have one of those. But NO3, the nitrate ion, we have NO3 here, and we have it again here. So since we have the same ion here, we'll just treat it as one thing. So I have one nitrate and the two times the one that gives me two. So I have a total of two nitrate ions, three hydrogens, and then phosphate. I have a phosphate, the PO4 here, and there's the PO4, the phosphate ion again. So I'm just going to say I have one phosphate ion here. And you can see I've counted all these up really quickly and accurately. On the other side, three calciums, one nitrate ion, one hydrogen, and one phosphate times the two, we have two of those. So things are a lot simpler looking when we do it this way. Why don't we start out by balancing the calciums? We can put a three in front of the calcium nitrate. One times three. So now we have three, the calcium are balanced. And then nitrates, we have two times the one. So we have two nitrates times the three. That gives us six nitrates. And let's see what we could balance next. Why don't we balance the nitrates next? We have six here and one here. Let's put a six in front of the HNO3. One nitrate times the six. That'll give us six nitrates and those are balanced. And then one hydrogen times the six. So now we have six hydrogens. Let's just balance the hydrogens. We'll put a two in front of the phosphoric acid. Three times two, that gives us six. And then our one phosphate times two, that'll give us two. So the phosphates are balanced and we're done. So you can see by treating these things like nitrate as just one item, as long as we have it here and here, or the phosphate, we have one here and we have it here, that saves a lot of time, much more accurate, and you get the same answer either way. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CaNO32 plus H3PO4. Thanks for watching.